What is going on guys? Ben Galina here coming back at you with another video. Today we are starting the San Francisco 49ers franchise here on Madden NFL 18. This is the complete start to the franchise. We're going over the roster, uh, goals for the series, what we're going to be doing with the series before we kick off the preseason. I'm going to ask for you guys' opinions throughout the video, uh, so I guess be sure to stay tuned. My Twitter link will be down in the description as well. Just hit 2,000 followers if you guys want to contribute to that. Uh, I'm very active on there with tweeting out and responding to people. So if you want to get in contact with me, that's probably the best place. Also, Twitter is really just overall the best for uh, social media contact, knowing when I live stream and all that. And um, be sure to subscribe if you're new. If you're interested in Bengal merchandise uh, with the logo on it right now, that is also in the link below, spreadshirt.com slash bangle or something like that. But it's in the description. And we're coming out with Chidavian Clown Vis merch very shortly and then probably get into some easy read stuff with you know green eggs and ham but i gotta figure some stuff out with that uh as you guys may know if you've been subscribed to the channel for a long time whenever i get a user pick it's uh easy reads and then i name a children's book something like that it's kind of a cool unique thing but we are starting the franchise here with the san francisco 49ers uh we're, we're gonna keep kyle shanahan as the head coach and we're gonna go over some of the league settings real quick so it is gonna be all madden it's gonna be normal it's going to be simulation as well I want this to be fairly authentic. It's not just like crazy, uh, huge plays and stuff like that. I want it to be indicative of what we actually do with the team in, in terms of team building and rebuilding or whatever you want to say. I want it to be um, sim. That's I mean that's really all I can say. I want it to be realistic. I want to do very very minimal trades if at all. I want it to be as realistic of a franchise as you're gonna see on YouTube. We are playing every single game, and I still don't know how I'm going to do the commentary on this this year yet. We'll figure it out. Coach firing is going to be CPU only, not that I'm going to get fired. I would seriously doubt it. Relocation settings, I think we're going to do uh, disabled. Don't really feel like having anyone change, move to Las Vegas or wherever. Shout out to the Raiders. Injury is going to be on. Pre-existing injury is going to be on. And then player progression frequency for um, for the CPU is going to be every four weeks. We're going to control ours. Everything looks fine here as far as management goes. We're just going to control all that. I'm going to turn off tutorial pop-ups and progress all players. And then Phil Roster can stay on. I don't think it's going to play too much of an impact. I think we're starting from preseason. I'm fairly certain. So uh, let's go ahead and start up this 49ers franchise. I am super excited. A lot of people want to know why I chose the 49ers. It was between the Browns and the 49ers and the Jags. And, I mean, I'm wearing a Patrick Willis jersey. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but I think so. Um, regardless, and I was just thinking, and one of my favorite players in the draft coming out was Reuben Foster. And I'm like, we got a real player that we can build around a Reuben Foster that can be the next Patrick Willis, a really fast linebacker with great hit power and is, is really fluid and good in zone coverage. I wonder what they gave him in zone coverage. Um... Gave him a 78. Like, this is a really, really good young player. He has quick development. I mean, he's going to be a tremendous player to work with. I know he's listed at right outside linebacker right now. And I guess this is... Um, this is a 3-4 defensive personnel. But I guess Solomon Thomas... What we're going to do is probably kick Solomon Thomas out to defensive end. Move Eric Armstead inside to play defensive tackle. Maybe DeForest Buckner can play defensive tackle in our 3-4. I think we're going to do that. Uh, I mean, this it's just, honestly, I don't know. It is a weird personnel. You take a look at some of the linebackers, and you say Ruben Foster, he's a 4-3 outside linebacker, 3-4, 4-3 inside linebacker. Then you look at Ray Ray Armstrong, he's kind of like almost a hybrid player. Ahmad Brooks is a pass rusher. Eli Harold is a pass rusher. You look at the defensive line, and you say, hey, Solomon Thomas, that's a defensive tackle in a... 4-3 maybe. He can play 4-3 end or he's a 3-4 end. But defensive tackle in a 3-4, I wouldn't recommend it. DeForest Buckner, kind of the same deal. Eric Armstead, kind of the same deal. Elvis, Elvis Dumerville, pass rusher. It's kind of an interesting situation. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but we're going to figure that out here in this video. I got to make a decision. Marquis Goodwin on the team. He's flying around out there. Don't really know what we're doing at quarterback just yet. Probably just going to save up uh, and draft a quarterback, depending on what our record is. Offensive line is not terrible. We obviously have Joe Staley, Zane Beatles, 
they're okay. Daniel Kilgore isn't bad. Joshua Garnett is first round draft pick from a year ago, and um, I mean he's kind of whatever right now. Vance McDonald is kind of again whatever. Eric Reed got you Quisky Tart. Uh, Jimmy Ward, Vinny Sanceri down there. Brock Coyle. I mean, it's an interesting Akella Witherspoon. Richard Robinson's good. I wonder what they gave him stat-wise. Quick development as well. 93 speed, 81 man, 70 zone. This is a very, very good corner to work with. Tall. He's got the frame. He's got the speed. We should be able to upgrade him into an incredible player. But I think what we're going to do here is play a 3-4. I think it's going to work out for the best. And we can just move, um, move some players into playing linebacker if we want them flying off the edge. I don't really know what we're going to do quite yet. i got to find a nose tackle, and I'm not sure who I want out of our, uh, Eric Armstead and DeForest Buckner. I think it's going to be DeForest Buckner. I think that's going to work out for the best. I just changed that. Um, so let me just choose a 3-4 playbook. That is kind of like, we'll just go base 3-4. We will go defense as an attacking 3-4, and we'll change the rest as we see fit at a later date before we start the actual franchise. I might not show that on camera. But we want to make sure Ruben Foster is a middle linebacker. That is going to be very important. Middle linebacker there for him. And we might move... Um, I think Elvis Dumerville is going to move back and play right outside linebacker. As you can see, he's an 86 overall still. He's old. Elvis Dumerville used to be so sick. On, uh, I guess he was good with the Ravens for a while, but I'm talking about Broncos Elvis Dumerville. He was so awesome. We're moving him outside to right outside linebacker. Ahmad Brooks can stay at left outside linebacker. And then we basic. Oh, Aaron Lynch, I totally forgot about. Aaron Lynch is going to play left outside linebacker. He's a very good young player. So we'll move him at left outside linebacker. I don't really care about Ahmad Brooks starting or anything. Ahmad Brooks is old. He's not really in the future of this team. He's 33 years old. He's not going to start. That just can't happen. And then the defensive line, Solomon Thomas can play left end. Does he have superstar development? Is that what I just saw? That is pretty nice. Solomon Thomas is going to be a really, really good player to work with. So he is an 82 overall left end. He does have superstar development. DeForest Buckner with quick development. Man, this 49ers team, I think, actually has a lot of potential with their youth. Uh, maybe not so much in real life just yet. They still have more building to do. But in this franchise, I think it's going to be a ton of fun. And then Eric Armstead. We could go him with not great block shed. Or we could go Tank Carradine, who is just not young enough. Let's get Ronald Blair down there, former Appalachian State player. Don't know why I know that, but I do. Eric Armstead can play right end. I guess he's already listed there. So I think this is going to be the team to start the franchise it's pretty good for like one of the worst teams in the nfl you could say i think we're gonna have a lot to do in order to make this team a real contender i'm gonna adjust the sliders i'm gonna figure out what sliders are the best in a in a different uh, franchise and then import them into this franchise before we actually start the series but thank you guys so much for watching the video i'm gonna let you guys go and i will see you in the next one take it easy